part of my mind never stops seeing stories um, whenever I'm involved in, in things. And we had this wonderful driver named Kara. And I really appreciated having a driver. We, we were on a bus tour. And the reason I appreciated that is because you're, you're driving by these hills. And if you just drive them yourself, you have no idea if there's any stories involved in some of these hills. And you have no idea what you're seeing except, oh, it's beautiful highlands, it's beautiful highlands, but you just travel on through and you don't know where to stop. Or if you do stop, you don't know why you're stopping. You're just stopping and taking pictures of things you don't really understand or, or know. So it was wonderful having Kara describe what we were seeing as we were traveling through and stopping at specific points and telling us why these points were important, whether it was about Rob Roy or these three mountains that they call the Three Sisters, which I bet you every culture has something called the Three Sisters somewhere around them. But it was just wonderful seeing that. And then when we went to the Isle of Skye, which is phenomenal, especially taking the ferry boat across, um, I mean, it, it's like you're transported to some other world, something beautiful, but you have somebody to tell you what the underlying stories are. And when I hear those stories, when I see those, those places, my mind starts thinking, what, how could I, how could I incorporate this? Is this something that, that is, that I could use in something that I would write, or is that something I want to do, or can I just create the Highlands and and have my characters go through something like this and experience something like what I was feeling? And so um, that was part of the journey of going through the Highlands and the Isle of Skye and that uh, and the ferry um, was just experiencing that. 